smile. You're a candid camera. At least that's what I, I should put a sign here for the animals because I finally purchased another trail cam. I've got five of these, but I left them all up in the top of Minnesota at my cabin, thinking I'd be back there in May to pick them up and see what they recorded over the late winter, but of course I never got there. Oh, well, anyway, I sprung for a new camera because I have not ever seen my phantom beaver. So I've got to get a little trickier and I've got to put a game camera in. This particular one has uses the black LED lights and animals cannot detect that at all, but it lights it up in a nice black and white picture for nighttime viewing. So you can see the, the beaver deceiver, the tubes, five tubes going through here keeping this water at the perfect level that I want. The beavers has stopped building on the dam, so he's not hearing anything going, so he's satisfied. I'm surprised at how much water I have flowing out the other side. The things are looking really good, but I do think I'll dig out a little trench here to have some water leaking, to kind of get the beavers interest up tonight so we get some fresh video of the phantom fixing the hole. I need to get out here. I think I'm going to attach the trail cam to this post right here. It'll be about the right distance away that the flash should be just about right for the nighttime. Still, I'll catch enough action of what's going on on top of this, this beaver dam because this little open spot right here, this little, o it's a little oasis now, and we're going to be surprised. I think I'm hoping to see some otters, raccoons, muskrats, mink. I think we'll have everything out here for a party in the next couple nights, so I was going to strip down again, go in the water, but got a little hot water about that last time on YouTube, so keep my shirt on. Also, someone reminded me, uh, you know, you do have a lot of big turtles out in that water, so taking the safer side, you just need to aim this, and then I open it up and turn it on. In Minnesota, I had trouble with black bears coming along and slobbering on my lens, but I don't expect any of that trouble down here. I think that should be about right. That should force the phantom to show his face. Been fighting him a long time and I never have seen him. I'm still saying it's one big beaver, so I'll be surprised if a family shows up here tonight. We'll see. Time to go and see if our trail cam has captured any images of our phantom beaver. It's been a real dry period here in northern Illinois. And well, we did get probably over here they might have got two inches of rain a few nights ago, but down here in the swamps things are like a jungle. Vegetation's over my head. Get up here and we walk up in the actual beaver dam. See what our phantom has been up to since we left. The 
Well, he didn't eat the camera. That looks good. Nothing packed around my beaver deceivers. Look down here where I made that little channel of water flowing out and looks like he put just enough mud in there to stop the water from flowing out. So maybe we caught him on camera doing that. Like I say, we had a few inches of rain. And so it looks like our five tubes that go through this dam are, well, they're flowing full. They're pretty good. But as I look at the dam, it certainly looks like it kept up with the flow without coming over the top, so it's all good. I don't see any turtle heads sticking up. That's good. I'm going to unstrap this camera. I think I'm going to change the angle. The morning sun's coming in here, and it's not a good idea to have your camera faced into the sunrise or sunset, so we'll try a different, little different angle here when we're done. I'm really curious. I can take a peek here. See if we got anything. Cool. Oh. Says the SD card is full. It's like 48 one minute videos. Should be good for something. Well, it looks interesting, but I still haven't seen the phantom in there. We'll check it out at home. But, uh, I'll take that card with me. Put it in a different one. Okay, uh, I formatted that card when I put it in. Make sure it works okay now. We're gonna try a little different. I think this will give a nice view of everything walking on top of the open area of the dam here. And I might dig a little mud out again to see if I can entice the phantom into coming in here and catch it. Let's see if I can. See if you'll fill it in there. I, he must be on this video here someplace of 48 in there, but 48 videos must have him somewhere. But we'll try it again from maybe we catch his better side. Now, last thing is to make sure you turn the camera on before you leave. That, that red light blinking there means that I've got 20 seconds to get out of the picture. I'm not going to worry about triggering a, a time or two. That should be enough to get his interest up. Oh, 
finally got that shot of the beaver, but the beaver left me a comment that I got his backside and he said, I look too fat. He said, he said try another angle. So I'm going to move the camera around and I'll shoot this way at him. We'll try to see if we can find his better side. What I put up with trying to keep the peace with this old boy.